Okay, for this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an Excel scatter plot with an included R square value to determine the significance of that correlation. So that's what a scatter plot does. It takes two variables and compares them to see if they're correlated, if there's a relationship. In the example here, we have age and pulse rate. So what I do is I come over and I highlight those columns. And once they're selected, I go over to the chart wizard. I choose scatter plot. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and just click uh, finish and not put in the title and labeling information because I want to get straight to the heart of the matter, which is show you how to add the trend line. So you come over to one of the data points in the scatter plot and you hold down the control key and click and go to add trend line as your option. We're going to choose a linear regression trend line. We go to options and we choose to display the R squared value on chart. So tick that box and click OK. And now we have an R squared value sitting here. We'll move it up to the side. And this is 0.98. This is a very strong correlation as you can see because most of the data points almost touch the line. So this is a very strong correlation. In fact, if you get an R-square value of 0.80 or 80% and higher, that is a uh, strong correlation. Higher than 0.95 is very strong. In fact, we have a 0.98 here, so we have a very strong correlation. Anything below 0.50 is considered to be not correlated, and between 50% and 70% is considered very weak. So that's how you make the scatter plot. Of course when you do it professionally you're going to add the title and the labels and over here you don't need uh, this legend here so you can remove that. Okay that's the tutorial on how to do a scatter plot. You can rewatch this video uh, and go through the process again and as well as you're welcome to stop by the classroom and practice on the computers here. Thanks for watching.